Hello, hello everyone. Shiki here, and today we're playing some balloons. Well, specifically, I'm going to show you all how I beat chimps fairly regularly uh, every single time, at least on the beginning levels. Uh, this process works pretty much every time I've tried it uh, on all the maps that I, I've done it on so far. And uh, if we go into the play option here, you can see I've got the, uh, the black trim on all of these up to frozen over which is what i'll be using to kind of show you what it does and i've used the same technique uh from basically here from town center i've used the same technique through all these doing the same exact thing over and over again and i think i can keep doing it until encrypted encrypted might be hard to do it on uh, as with Bizarre and pretty much anything that has like two two directions that it goes in. It would be a little bit hard since uh, the wave kind of splits. And you'll see kind of why. Um, so uh, for this one it would be good. It kind of depends. I will have to come up with a new strategy later on. But uh, basically I'll show you how it goes. And actually before we get into that specifically, what I do want to show you is an image that I've got that I saved from the first time I actually did one of these little things. I was like, oh, that actually worked. I, uh, I guess I'll save this picture and just kind of reference it every single time I play. So, as you can see here, this is a, a screenshot of what I, I, I did to get my first chimps battle. So, as you can see, there's a lot of, like, excess unnecessary stuff here um i got like all this stuff to the right which doesn't see any action i've got a bunch of like bullets i've got a lot of mages here just unnecessary stuff that i do not need and as you can see i still have like four thousand dollars left over after I've, I've won the match um, but anyway we're gonna be just removing we're moving that here and i'll show you how I actually did it in real time. Yeah, that way you can know I'm not like cheating or, you know, using stupid hack. I don't know. You can't really hack on or cheat on chimps since uh, it is, well, chimps. So, for those of you who don't know what chimps is, let's go ahead and click on it. So, balloon. Uh, chimps is a true test of the BTD master. No continues. Hearts lost. Income. Uh, monkey knowledge, powers, or selling. So, basically, if you if you look kind of b behind me here, uh, there, there you go. You saw for a second. There's a uh, there's a little line over the powers button that I'm hiding here. Um, and you can't use powers, and also you can't get the uh, as you can see here the uh, farms to get more income and all that good stuff. So basically, you're left with what we have. Here. And for this, I use Sada to begin with because the, the, what you open with in this one is very important. Because you start on round six, which means camel balloons aren't very far behind. Um, so if you don't have Sara or Asada, you could potentially use something else like a Dart Monkey upgraded to Enhanced Eyesight. I've not tested that because why would I, you know, not use Asada when I can? Because she's great so we're just gonna set her down here this way it'll maximize her her area of effectiveness here and we'll just start the game so there's gonna be a lot of just balloons popping until we get our our basic stuff met here so with being limited to not being able to get money not being able to use powers and having to go around a hundred what you do really matters in terms of uh, survival and winning. Because you can't continue either. So we're gonna put down this guy right here. Now he's gonna be kind of like a, uh, a cattle catcher, essentially. Or a uh, escape catcher, I should say. Anything that gets past her will get shot by him. And anything that gets past her is gonna be just very little. Uh, that's gonna be our first little minimal thing there. What comes next is what's really important. Because we got camos taken care of with her, but we're going to get those uh, lead balloons coming in next. So we need to get down one of these boys. 
just a very simple bomb shooter. We're gonna set it to strong just so we can start taking out the stronger ones, leaving a uh, Sada to destroy the, uh, the weaker ones, which she can easily take out. First upgrade, bigger bombs. That way it does a nice AOE and pops a little more balloons. Simple as that. Next, we're going to go with faster reload, get it that faster firing rate. Essentially, we're going to take this all the way to the, uh, the Moab Assassin. Uh, we are going to leave bigger bombs as the top one. We're not going to upgrade that any further. Because all heavy bombs does is uh, you can smash through two layers of balloons at once and pop more balloons. But with Moabs, it only does one extra damage per shot. So it's not that worth it. Uh, at least not worth 700. We got a missile launcher. As you can see, we'll start to you know, kick some butt there. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and get my blue monkey here. And we're going to give him bigger globs and stickier glue, also setting him on strong. That way he can uh, aim at the stronger balloons, but the smaller ones, they move slow anyway. It doesn't matter. The big ones need to be slowed down. And so he'll target them. And we'll also get stronger glue, so he doesn't do any damage. But he's mostly so the balloons hit Sada slow so she can damage them a lot more. As you can see, they're, they're very quite slow here. Um, so we're going to leave him alone for a while now. What we're going to do next is make sure that we have this guy able to take down a Moab. Because he will be our only thing that can deal with a Moab right now. And got it. Easy peasy, right? So, with that... We're good until round 40. Well, for the most part. Uh, essentially, what we got to do is just make sure we survive till round 40. The 40 is the next check to make sure that we win. And honestly, we will win. It's not going to be a big question of are we going to? We are. Okay, so I'm going to place a little village right here. Trying to take up as little space as possible. And next we're going to get the uh, glow blocker, or grow blocker, to stop them from regenerating with the heart balloons. Also going to just expand the radius since it's a cheaper upgrade right now. And then we're just going to wait. Just going to wait a little bit here. I next usually get the radar scanner. That way, everyone in the radius can destroy camel balloons, which will come in handy a lot, as to not have to have someone to dedicatedly do uh, camo, like having a uh, uh, a necromancer monkey who does the uh, the shimmer reveal, or having a submarine in areas that you can't have a submarine. So, good enough. Also, feel free as you're going through this video, because it's going to be just a lot of waiting for money to come in and whatnot, feel free to just skip ahead a little bit. You can, like, forward through the video as you want, unless you want to just hear the background noise of balloons popping. But uh, I'm not going to be talking the whole time. I'm just going to be talking when there's something important to come up. Which, as we go through, it'll be less and less because we're just waiting on money. Now, you might not have to use a druid, but I like druids. They're fun to use. I'm going to put mine right here. Get at the top two. Get the Heart of Thunder. That way it does like a nice kind of AoE thing. Chain Lightning, basically. Get the Heart of Oak. Now, I, I used to go down the second path. I would normally go this one and this one. However, when you're coming to Impoppable or even or, or Chimps... Uh, Having attack speed for every life lost doesn't matter because you start with one life. So if you lose a life, you're screwed. So I ended up just having like these two, or I go up to three. I go to the Druid of the Storm, and then I have like Druid Reach, which increases the lar the range, which doesn't really matter for what we're going to be doing. So I decided I'll just grab this and that instead. And that's how I've been stacking them up recently. So you might not need them. You could probably replace them with someone else who uh, might do some other stuff, but he's good to push balloons back and away from the exit. So, he'll be able to catch them here, here, and over here. 
so it's very nice. And also, uh, I think you can catch them going like that. So. So, as you can see, you'll shoot out a little tornado. They'll start flying back towards the entrance, and uh, it'll save us some, uh, give us an extra time, extra chance for our balloon or our, our towers to pop stuff. Very, very simple. Alright, next up, I'm going to toss down right here, helicopter. I'm just going to lock it in place right there. And give him pursuit. Now, depending upon what you want to do, you could go bigger jets to give it more movement, but then the next one is just camouflage popping, which we have thanks to the tower, or to the, uh, the village. So we're just going to ignore the middle one and go with these. Never let me down yet. We're also going to get the sharp razors. And now we're good all the way through level 63. 63 is the next test that will matter. Um, for us, anyway, in terms of this. Uh, if you are playing differently than this, your next hard one is going to be 59 because that has the lead camo balloon. So if you don't have anything that can do both, such as uh, the helicopter with the village uh, modifier on it. You're going to have a bad time. Simple as that. I'm also going to upgrade the Demoab Assassin. And we're going to wait and get the jungle drums. Okay. And that way everything attacks a little bit faster. Let's see. I'm also going to go ahead and right over here gonna grab a mortar and we're gonna mortar this guy um, if you don't know about this map's secret or the Easter egg basically if you uh well you'll see you don't have to do this I'm only doing it because it's here and I placed it on a mortar anyway for this plan so let's go ahead and up, 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 up. so he's out of the ice now and he's over here and he'll attack stuff for us so I'm going to place the mortar right down here so I can catch some stuff and give it a signal flare. Because we are going for this, shattering shells. This is very important later on after like level 60-ish because stuff starts showing up with reinforcements like these ones that do take a lot to destroy them. And if you let your Moabs get through with uh, outstripping off their uh, reinforcement things, then... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you end up getting hurt, and that'll take you out. So I'm not gonna buy it yet. Instead, I'm gonna grab our last tower we'll be building for a while. The ice monkey. We're just gonna upgrade him to there and leave him because we have a bigger thing that we need to get right now. We're just gonna click off, and we're just gonna wait. We're just gonna sit and wait because our next tower upgrade is the Apache Dark Ship. So. It will take a couple of rounds, so feel free to fast forward or skip ahead until you see the uh, the Apache Dark Ship come up, because that's going to be our next one. It is so satisfying to just hear the, the pops going. Incidentally, when you're uh, you're at this level right now, you can pretty much get up, go grab a uh, a drink, go to the bathroom if you gotta, you know, whatever you want to do if, if you gotta. If you're really feeling like you're unsure, you can hit the space bar and you know go down from uh, from full full speed like that. You know, you see the little. I always double speed it though. Personally. Here we go. Patching our ship. Now this one, this boy will carry us. He's one of the main things that we need. Basically, there, there's four main towers. I guess five main towers that carry us. It's the helicopter, the ice monkey, the monkey village, the bomb shooter, and the mortar monkey. 
The other ones aren't too important, to be honest. Check everyone's stuff here. Okay, so let's upgrade the Ice Monkey. And we're going to go for Icicle Impale on this guy. I'm also going to go ahead and just upgrade the blue guy to shoot uh, up to six balloons per shot. That way he can help a little bit more. Not that we're going to see too many lowercase balloons, or lower tier balloons now. So here, we're level 63. This is the main test of whether or not we will hold. If we get any balloons past here on 63, we're probably not going to have a good time. But with the Apache uh, dart ship, we uh, <laughs> definitely will survive. It just destroys house, as you can clearly see. But uh, as I mentioned, as we get higher into the uh, the difficulty maps, it will be harder for the Apache to help us. So the the, the strategy will need to change because it, its pursuit ability is linear, which means if you have split tracks, it's going to just get confused. The AI is going to go like back and forth between the tracks and not really shoot anything unless you put it in hover mode, which uh, will help a bit, but it, it won't do the grand thing we're wanting it to do. So we might switch it out for a, uh, a Spectre for the airplane. But right now, our, uh, our next major issue is going to be round 78. So we got like 10 rounds to kill, so uh, we'll just wait and get this guy next because we're starting to get some of those uh, reinforced Moabs. You can see they're pushing us back a little bit. And here we go. Here we go. Okay. Now, once they hit this line, they will, uh... So I'm gonna put it... Ah, we'll leave it there. It's fine. I was thinking maybe putting it there, but eh, it doesn't really matter. Alright. Well, with that in mind, where we've held for a while, so I'm just gonna go get another drink, like I said I was, that you can do earlier. So I'll just be right back. That's what my uh, avatar does when I'm not in front of it. Ha! <laughs> Interesting. I'm back now. Oh look, we're still alive. Looks like our plan's working. <coughs> so, right now we're just saving up until we can get enough money to get this guy. Because uh, he'll really matter, especially at round 90 and over. So we have until round 90 to get him. Um, and actually, after this point, uh, like I said, 78 is going to be a difficult one. And here we are. So we might get some to get around here-ish, but it shouldn't make it too far past that. Yeah, like I said, <laughs> get right to there. Uh, but 78 is quite difficult because it has a lot of ceramics. Um, I think, are they camouflage ceramics? Hold on. I got a... I got a bloom waves thing here. 78 is... Yeah, it looks like we have... Oh, we've got 80 of the magic or anti-magic balloons. We've got 150 of the rainbow balloons. 
We've got 75 ceramic balloons, 72 ceramic camo balloons, and apparently one of the red Moabs. Yeah. So from here we're we're golden. We don't have to worry about much, and as you can see, as soon as the Moabs hit that area of effect of the mortar, they just lose their properties, which is great. Um, however, round 83, I guess, is the next hard one, because it just has a, it's got 40 ceramics, 40 regrow ceramics, 40, I think it's reinforced ceramics, and then 30 normal Moabs, but it doesn't really matter. The, the next actual hard one, or the next, like, I guess, check, is going to be 90, which has your first DDT, so we got a good 10 levels before we have to worry about anything that might damage us. So, we get the Icicle, which slows down all the balloons, uh, the Moabs anyway, considerably. And that's what matters, because once the DDTs come out of the field, they will begin to mess up our day, if we do not have something to stop them. Though, if you had the Apache Prime, they wouldn't really matter anyway. But, yeah, I think it's fun to use a couple things. To be honest, you could probably just forget the Ice Monkey and just go straight to the Apache Prime. But it's good to have something just in case, you know. I like putting all my eggs in one basket. I'm also going to grab this Moab glue just to uh, slow down the Moabs even further. And we're going to need the Intel Monkey Bureau to allow everyone to shoot the frozen balloons. We're gonna grab that next. Okay. So at this point, 90% of what I put on the map is there. All I'm waiting now for is the Moab Eliminator so I can just fire constant Moab elimination bombs at the guys. That's all. So we should have it around we should get it just before the DDT round, I think, if I remember correctly. Oh, incidentally, if, uh, if you want, you can use your powers, like the, uh, like Sada's special, uh, jump ability, which, like, just jumps you towards the closest target and puts her swords on the ground there so they damage themselves when they go over it. Or you can use the, the Moab Mauler to destroy some Moabs if you want. But, I mean, at this point, the game plays itself uh, for the most part. Uh, what does matter, though, is after round 90, that's when you might have to actually pay attention and use some of your, uh, your skills. It's a nice little cleanup crew. Another one, why not? Yeah. Toss down their swords. So at this point, the, the blue Moabs, the, the very first ones, they just get deleted as soon as they come within range of the uh, the, the ice monkey. Everyone just gets destroyed. It is very, very beautiful. I love it. If at this point you're not melting the blue. Moabs, you are uh, not going to have a good time. And there's our first three DDTs. And as you can see, they just got curb stomped by the Ice Monkey. Apache doing his job. Okay. We'll select the Moab Mauler because we're about to need it. Or to buy it anyway. I think 40 or 94 is when we're going to be able to afford it. Maybe? And we might get it sooner. So right around this wave, 92, you're going to want to start actually using your abilities because they do kind of come in handy and help out. Also, this is the setup that I use uh, right now. Uh, from here you can deviate and do whatever you want to do. Uh, but this is everything minimum 
that I require to win. So I'm just going to put down a Moa, a little uh, sniper monkey. Get him up there. We're going to go down the bottom route so he can pop the smaller balloons that might get through. Um, and at this point, I'm going to be constantly hitting the uh, Moab Eliminator to have it go and ruin people's days. Round 95 has 30 DDTs, 50 normal Moabs, and then a bunch of other smaller little things that don't really matter because we're going to destroy them. Where can I put my sniper monkey? How about right? Uh, right. There we go. Now I'm going to go strongest. That way uh, I have someone who can delay the strongest Moab on the screen. Because it'll uh, increase the damage we deal with the strongest Moab. And it'll immobilize it for a short time. There we go. Except this doesn't do anything with the BAM, the, the big ass purple balloon that we'll see at the end. So. Well, with all that down, I'm going to start. I'm going to place another uh, strong attacking bomb shooter here. Get another Moab Mauler. Now, 98 is going to be your pass or fail round because if you are not doing it right, you are going to fail. Many times when I was working on my first initial plan of how to deal with this, 98 killed me. I was fine up until 98, and then 98 just ruined me. Just like that, you win, though. All right. Speed it back up. Mm. Get one of these down here, just in case anything slips through. Okay, we win. No fans or butts about it. Once the purple guy shows up, it's easy, because it's just one of him, and... Bam, done. As soon as he pops... Everything else is, like, weak, instantly killed. And there you go. That is how to reliably beat, um, at least the first couple of maps. Like I said, the first one that's actually going to be hard is going to be this one. I think I can do this one as long as, uh, I think I can put, I think I can put down a, uh, a village in the center area somewhere. As long as I can do that, I should be able to put stuff other where. But encrypted will be quite hard since, uh... Well, maybe not. I suppose if I just kind of force everything onto, like, one side. Because everything comes down, it goes in, and it goes out. So as long as they're all on one little area at the end... I mean, it'd be very, very risky, because if anything gets through, uh, I'm screwed. But I could potentially do that. Put, like, Sada right in the middle here to, like, hit stuff that way, and then... Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, thank you all for, for watching how I've destroyed chimps, and uh, I mean, if you want to see other stuff that I've done, I'll just kind of go through here. Uh, I've been slowly... I, I've my, my plan was, I'm going to complete every single one up to up to chimps and then because i couldn't do chimps before i was like then i'll figure it out but currently i got i got bored of doing the same level like 12 times or however many medals there are so i was like i'll just do all the 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 easy ones on them some of them i've done higher ones on so far but yeah that's kind of all i've done so as you can see on expert i've not done <clears throat> much past the easies on advanced, I've done mostly the easy and mediums, except for a couple. And then on an intermediate, I've done most of the, the medals. So, yep, and all that to get to level 120. 26, and what's this? Odyssey Star Events? Oh, yeah. 
But yeah, look at all the, the games I've played. I've won 500 games out of my 980, so I have like a 400 game loss there. The highest round I've gotten to is 201, and I don't remember if I got bored at 201 and said, screw it, I'm out, or if uh, I, I died there. I don't remember. Popped 95 million balloons. In co-op, I popped 15,000. I'm just showing off at this point, so, uh, most experienced monkey, sniper monkey. I used him a lot, yeah. Alright, anyway, everyone, thanks for watching. I hope this, uh, this chips strategy helps you out if you're stuck anywhere. And like I, like I said, it's probably not good for the later maps. Especially, like, this map where there's multiple lanes. Or even Flooded Valley where there's one track but nothing on the ground can get close enough to really attack it up there. So that was going to be like an aqua one. I don't know on this one. This is going to be tricky. But for the most part, all the expert ones, it seems like you're going to have to make um, specific team of towers to deal with them specifically. Like, there's not going to be an easy win for all of them. And even some of the advanced maps, like... Uh, actually, all the advanced maps, since they're all... Uh, multi-enter exit things geared is gonna be tough geared was tough for the longest time for me as well but um yeah well it slips okay well everyone thank you try your own strategies use mine if you want to get past a couple of ones but uh honestly it's just trial and error and i didn't go into the was it the sandbox mode myself uh and do this i literally found this this uh method of completing chimps by just doing it over and over again losing on level 98 because i couldn't get past it and then uh dying again and uh, that is how it's done it's trial and error yeah it's trial and error well everyone thank you for watching i'm gonna stop rambling because that's what i tend to do have a lovely time bye for now